family, I'd like to welcome y'all back to the Big Thirsty Show. I am the host with the most that's gonna give you the hot butter on your toast. I am the one Big Thirsty, and the devil is in the details. And if you're dancing with Sean Puffy Combs, you're definitely dancing with the devil. So we're about to get off into the details of the case. In a stunning turn of events, Sean Puffy Combs has been arrested in New York City facing a raft of serious charges that could have devastation and implications for the hip-hop mogul's music career and, and, and any career that he got, entertainment, period, uh, life. Um, the arrest stems from an investigation led by Homeland Security Investigations culminating in a 14-page indictment that reveals disturbing details about Puffy's personal and professional life. The indictment and the charges. HSI Special Agent in Charge Peter C. Fitzhu, alongside with New York's U.S. Attorney Damian Williams, held a press conference earlier uh, to outline details of the severity of these charges. Among the most damning evidence is the discovery of three AR-15s at Combs House in Manhattan. Authorities emphasize that the serial numbers on the weapons have been deliberately filed off a clear indication of illegal possession and intent to conceal the origins of the firearms. The indictment also includes charges of hosting illegal events in violation of state and federal law as well as trafficking in unregistered firearms. Sources close to the investigation suggest that more charges could be filed as as this progressed. With one federal prosecutor saying, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The freak off parties. Perhaps the most scandalous detail is the revelation about Puffy's infamous freak off parties. Long rumored to be exclusive, wild, secretive gatherings for high profile attendees. The investigation uncovered over a thousand bottles of lubricant allegedly meant for distribution during these parties. HSI agents indicated that these parties were more than a social gathering with the potential of illicit activities. It was deep. The rabbit hole goes deep. All right, so legal defense. Now, Puffy came out with... <laughs> with the super team, you know. Uh, representing Sean Puffy Combs is to be expected to be the high profile legal battle uh, is renowned defense attorney, Benjamin Brockman of, of Brockman Associates. Known for handling high stakes celebrity cases, Brockman's speaking to the uh, reporters outside of the courtroom expressed confidence in Puffy's uh, stating that um, we are prepared to fight these charges and to prove Mr. Combs not guilty of these serious accusations. And I do quote, during the dramatic bail hearing earlier, this earlier, uh, Puffy's defense team initially offered $50 million uh, in bail but the U.S. District Judge Catherine Polk Falia uh, set the amount at a staggering $75 million. So yes, he was granted bail. Citing the verity of the charges and the ongoing investigation, the judge raised concerns that Combs' extensive resources and connections abroad could offer him as a flight risk. Despite his attorney's assurance to the contrary, the bail was granted under strict conditions, including 
travel restrictions, and combs was required to surrender his passport. Um, his release is also contingent on monitoring by federal agents. A veiled threat is more to of more to come. HSI press conference hinted at the ongoing investigation, suggesting that additional charges may yet be filed. While authorities declined to go into specifics, they confirmed that Combs' business and personal dealings are under increased scrutiny. These ongoing investigations could potentially implicate other high-profile figures connected to Puffy, or even further unravel a larger web of illicit activities. So hey, like we said earlier, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm Big Thirsty of the Big Thirsty Show, and we'd like to thank you for this, for this, tuning in to this update, and we're going to keep you updated on the situation.